Welcome back to Natal Be Reefing, and um, it's a bit of a different video. I experienced a flood. Now, the flood had to do with the um, Pax Bellum return tube uh, pipe, I guess, popping out of the back of the tank, and it just ended up spilling all the water from the sump into the Pax Bellum and then from the Pax Bellum into the floor. Uh, you can see how puppy was very concerned about the condition of the wooden floor just making sure that we we're doing everything correctly my wife took the opportunity to vacuum behind the tank but this is basically what it looks like when a small section of your house floods so very quickly I had to get rid of all the electronics and that part there what I'm showing you there that's the that's the one that pulled out and ended up lying on the floor behind the tank and I've been meaning to secure that a bit better and just obviously neglecting it not doing it not doing it and um yep then the water ended up everywhere so the problem was that the uh the return pipe or yeah that return pipe ended up falling into the cabinet with the electronics and everything got wet and it made me think about um it also made her think about um why have i been so slack with uh, the electronics and trying to make them not waterproof I guess but safe from the water uh, anyway so this is what I did uh, I took the opportunity to get behind the sump and fix it now I used command hooks because it's all I could get now I have command hooks everywhere in this tank now because my wife has a overly stocked command hook cabinet as you can see I'm pointing out the um, that's the ATO line which has also never been secured believe it or not and um, that's now hooked in solid with the command hook. It doesn't move. Um, neither does the return pipe from the Pax Bellum. It is nicely held in place. Um, that is going to probably move towards the left-hand side of your screen and make a loud noise. So I'm just going to keep it bent like that for now and hope that as it tops up, it doesn't end up pouring into the deeper side of the sump, making a big splashing noise, which would probably be pretty irritating. I had to use two command hooks, one going in each direction because otherwise it just flipped out. I also was always irritated by the ATO sensor wiring that used to go across the sump. Um, and uh, yeah, Nandi was also pretty annoyed by that. So what I've done is I command hooked it to the ceiling. So now it just goes straight up from the front of the sump across the roof. Um, this is what I did with the uh, the cabinet with all the electronics and I eventually just decided to hang those again command hooks um, thank you Bunnings uh, that is uh, and everything is everything is command hooked um, it's got those velcro sticking strips to lift it up um, foreman on the job just checking making sure I'm doing it properly um, and yeah this is what this is the the final product or the final uh, outcome I guess so every, everything that has electricity in it has been lifted off the ground. So that were that has been command velcroed. Um, all the cables and everything are now um, up off the ground. In the other side, we've got uh, everything up. So as you can see, there is nothing on the bottom. I used some old egg crate that I had to elevate the ground. Uh, so the power bars for the MP10s and the AR Prime are now elevated as well. All the cab the um, the power uh, ports or the power points are also up and off. Looking at the sump now, um, there isn't wires across the water. Uh, that's the one I was telling you about that is hooked up. That's the ATO up and along the roof of the sump. And then those two, which that was the offender, that one that I was pointing at now. So that thing there is the offending pipe. And now it's solid and that's the ATO that's now also not budging at all. So I'm happy that those are going to hold. Um, well, let's keep our fingers crossed for that. It looks like it's pretty solid anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, that was today's uh, event. Um, while I'm at it, I thought I'd just show you a new little Montipora frag I got. Um, it's a plating Monty. I think it's a, it, under the white lights, it's actually purple with red polyps, but under the blue starter filter, it's a nightmare. You can't see anything. Anyway, so uh, that's what happened today. I thought I would share the video. Um, so thanks for watching and um, yeah, peace.